Oh, you didn't? No, I didn't. I excluded you from the situation. Well, I'm not married. No, you're married, but I excluded you anyway. Because I'm from New Jersey and I can do that. What the hell's up with this guy? Richie Sambora, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> A guy who's not interested in sex every night may be a tired guy, may be a guy with, um, you know, a late night show that he really throws his heart into. <laughs> you know, and sometimes when he gets home, baby, he's just a little tired, you know? Maybe, time to, maybe just a cuddle and a snack would be nice. Instead of 50 cents, fucking pray every night. Man, well, I gotta tell you, and maybe you want to hear this, maybe you don't. But this, this, the band just changes everything. That's ah, great, isn't awesome. it? Yeah, I know it changes everything. How long, so, I know. I know. so, how long are you guys gonna be on the show? They're here until tomorrow, and then that's it. And then you're fucked. Then we're back. Yeah. <laughs> that's the word. That's the word. That's the word. <laughs> that's the word that's on your book. The word is actually very fucking okay. Christmas. No. Uh, and what, no, you can't do it. Do it. You can't, you, I don't like cussing in this show. Can't you put the Finnish flag in front of my mouth when I say, oh, fucking. Well, wait, wait, why did you bring out an Irish flag? Why, why do you think? It's Irish. Look at my face, and then look at this, and then you figure it out. So what you're saying is you're drunk. Yeah, no. But I was drunk for many years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, that's how we met. Well, yeah, true, yeah. yeah. For a festival years ago. Yeah, at least I think is how we met. I can't, yes, I remember I'm exactly. Sure. He can't remember because he was really Shit drunk. Shit-based. Yeah. I was a little right. drunk. Happy. Yeah. Frank was really and really happy. But, but, but you know what? You were uh, you were always funny. I don't know if that's true, Dennis. No, no. I'll tell you right now. You were funny. That's when you were doing the no cure for cancer. Yes, but I remember the, day, they, uh, the theaters in in, uh, in Britain and Ireland and Edinburgh. They have uh, they have pubs. They have bars in the theaters. So when you're done with the show, you go to the and the performers do as well. And um, he was doing his character Bing Hitler. Yeah, that, that, people love that. <laughs> it was a people love that. It was a, it was a, it was a brilliant combination of Bing Crosby and Adolf Hitler. <laughs> You know, it was an idea. It was, it was, it was comedy genius, yeah, ladies and you gentlemen. Know, it wasn't a gay robot skeleton, but it was on the way. It was on the way. On the way. And, the, and the beauty of Craig at the time, and probably still now, um, was that he was being Hitler on stage and off. <laughs> he, would, he would wear the outfit and just kind of be there with a little hot Hitler mustache and the oh, hat. You're making this up. This is not true. This is true. This is really, I was drunker than I thought. I yeah, I don't know. But you know, I was thinking about this actually. It's funny that we're talking about it because Frank Skinner, who yeah, I remember Frank. Frank's a great Frank, comedian. He's a great comedian friend of ours who's very famous in Britain. And he was with us in Edinburgh, and so was Eddie. We were all unknown yeah, back funny. then. It was 22 years ago. Eddie, and was, Eddie was full on transvestite then. He was like full on dresses, and like he would be wearing evening gowns to the bars and everything. You remember all that? Well, maybe that was me. I, who was it? I, I was just going to say, I think it was you. Yeah, I, I remember Eddie saying, hey, isn't that mine? And you went, no. Uh, we wore the same dress. But it was. It was a great time. Yeah, a and look time. at us now. We're all famous. and, and uh, You're famous. Well, you're so are you. Look at the size of your studio. Yes. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 
I mean, it's actually, when you think about it, I, the reason I thought of it is because Frank Skinner is a, I get this message that he's celebrating his 25th year in show business. Wow. And that's one of those things when somebody says it, you go like, wow, 25 years. And then I realized I started doing stand up in 1980. Which I guess counts as because I was getting paid. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, 25, I was like, oh, that's a long time. Then I thought about it and I went, oh. Tootsie fruits. Yeah, yeah. You know? But yeah. also, at the time, none of us had any money. We were all broke. I still don't. Well, <laughs> would you put it all into the band? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. I spent it all on Rich. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's an expensive boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Since he's on board, I wish you don't get him for four bucks. But you know, you're going to be very lonely next week when you come to do the show and Richie's not I'm here. Very, I'm very concerned about it, to be honest. Like, next week when I come to do the show, the, the band will be gone. It'll be me and Jeff. And we'll I know, and the energy, be... right? Don't you love the band? Yeah. Have you... I don't know what to do. I don't know what you're going to do. The thing is, you, you gotta you gotta look on the bright side. You do? No, I don't know. Okay. I, here's here's the thing. Oh. I've seen the show, you know, the new set without the band, mm -hmm. and, and I love the show. But that area is very empty. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's going to. I mean, if you don't put a Sambora with some friends in there, well, you got nothing. You know, you was already a couple times playing. You got big glass with Richie going back and forth. I know. I so you got you got you got Jack. You got Richie. Are you saying I can't do this show on my own? Is this what you're saying? Saying, what well, I'm saying, like, oh, Big Hitler had a mustache, and then uh, what the hell? What I'm saying is that you may pack it yourself. No. Oh. Because you know, if you had, if you had gone and gone out and gotten a crappy band, right, and they played, everybody like, oh, they're okay. But instead, you go, you're right, almost completely out of your league, and get Richie Sample. Oh, oh, and now, oh, 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 hey, and now, hey, hey, what, hey, what, man, what? That's what, what, That's what, what, harsh. What, what, what harshed me there? What, 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 I said, out of my league. Okay. It's true, but it's harsh. I know, the truth can hurt. It is. It hurt me a little bit, but okay. it hasn't been a good one. I apologize, but he's right over there. So, yeah. What know? kind of a man doesn't want sex every night? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you know the lap dance was invented in Finland? <laughs> No, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit they do it to keep warm. Did they really? They finish, yeah. You ever been to Finland? No, I've never been to Finland. You know, neither have I. I made that thing up about it. Yeah. I've never been there. Yeah. I, 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 What's the closest you ever got? Uh, it's King King Hitler, Hitler. Hitler. No, no. <laughs> I, in that bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was the closest we got. But, uh, it was no, pretty cold out. I've been to Norway. You have? No, what? no, wait, Sweden. Oh, okay, that's pretty close. I, I, I had an affair with a Norwegian. Did you really? Girl. Did you? Oh. <laughs> No, but I mean, let's go back a little bit. Yeah. What was that, during the first marriage? Edinburgh. Ah. Ah. It's very close. They just come over, they fold up their furniture, and then they come. It's, uh, it's really nice. Yeah, no, it's very nice. Yeah, but you were already married then. You were already, like, on love. Yeah, I, 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 I had my first years. child. I had yeah, my yeah, first child no. then. That's yeah. right. Yeah. He was born then, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we were all like, he's got a kid. I know. <laughs> Weird guys. We were freaked out. You guys were, you guys were just, I was way out of the game. You were, it's yeah. a great thing now, because now, I can, my, my kids, my kids are adults now. Yeah, mine are still kids, and my kids, like, I, my youngest one's two. Oh, God. <laughs> I know, I should have you are. Uh, but, see, this is a great melding of this freeform interview we're doing and the product I'm pushing, because your two-year-old should read this book. Because the whole Santa thing, get it over with quick. Hey, hey, hey. What? Whoa, whoa. What, is the kid watching the show? Every night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a two-year-old, man. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's really bad. I mean, you realize when the kid graduates from high school, you're basically wearing his diapers. <laughs> Come know. on. All right, all I mean, right. That, it's, but here's the option. Like, if I had kids, when I was, like, you know, as young as you were, when you had your kids, yeah. I was so crazy that I, I had damaged the kid. You were, you were that crazy. No, I wasn't. I, you know, know. I was I was super crazy. I'm only capable now. Yes. And that's only for a 10-minute window. Yes. <laughs> also, the, the, you've seen that like my kids going to high school. I mean, come on, Daddy. The... <laughs> when did you finish school? Ah, oh, jeez, I dropped out of high school in 1978. What year was that? You, you're, uh, you're... 1978. <laughs> 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 yeah.
<laughs> this is why he hosts the show when I sit here. But, oh, that but, made me laugh there. But, I know, that made me laugh too. Yeah. But were you a junior or a senior or a freshman year? Uh, I was 16, I don't know what that is. And your parents let you do it? Uh, no, but, you know, I was like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, uh, I know everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, no, I was out of there. And what drugs were you on at that point? Uh, there was alcohol and a little a little one called uh, amphetamine sulfate that was very popular at the time. <laughs> it was a kind of pre-run, pre, what, pre up to meth. No, it's a, uh, it was kind of like meth, but uh, before iPods. How do you... <laughs> How did you do it? Snort it? Snorted it. Snorted yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It's terrible, terrible drug. Terrible drug. And how did it make you feel? Uh, delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad for you, though. Yeah, very bad. Wow, man. I've never even heard of that. Did you ever hear of that? Never heard of that one. No, I never heard of that one. They didn't have that in New Jersey, man. No, they didn't have it. Yeah, I have to differ. I had it in New Jersey. Yeah, but you you brought it into the country yourself, probably, right? No. I I don't I don't never even heard of it. No, it wasn't popular in America. It was I never even heard of it. It's like, what? Slade. They were a band that were popular I'm in Britain, not popular in America. I'm Slade. Yeah. I'm a Slade. with Meth, uh, Amphetamine and Sophie. Meth became popular here. Yeah, meth became popular. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I was, I've, I've been dumb. They didn't have that back in my day. No, no. We just, no, we didn't have meth. We got high in potatoes in my day. Uh -huh. <laughs> Back in my day, we were snorting Pam. You know, you take Pam and spray it into, into the toilet paper roll and snort that. Uh, glue, you paint. Bad bastard. We were poor. We were poor. You know how poor we were? I tell my kids this all the time. We had to snort household products to get out. And now, please see some advertising. quite a bit and uh, my parents are both from a little place called Killarney. Oh, yeah, my yeah. parents grew up on adjoining farms that they met, you know, as, That's very as kids. Romantic. I know. Yeah. And then they came to America and, uh, and you know. Wait, no, didn't your dad come to America and was a boxing champion and then went back and he met your mom and then they had the big long fight and the, oh no, wait, that's the movie The Quiet. That's <laughs> Quiet. <Yeah. laughs> Boy, thank God for the, whatever that drug was that you used to do. <laughs> but that's a better story. Yeah. Um, uh, no, no they, my dad came to New York and, uh, do you walk around with this? I do, yeah. It's a law. Yeah, I walk around with it and uh, I'm just wave it at people, you know? There's certain people you wave that to and things are going to get lively. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Be careful. I know. Especially, you know, in Edinburgh and, uh, you know, they but, still got the, that thing. Yeah, like if I'm walking around without an Irish flag, people are like, I wonder who he is. <laughs> what nationality is he? No, it's like when you're in Scotland, people think you're an Irish. But whenever I go to Boston, people think I'm from Boston. They go, that guy over there, he's a cop. Well, what, now what is your why? I don't think I ever asked you this, but at, if you go back in your genealogical tree, Irish. Yeah, see, I mean, everybody is Irish. Everybody. Irish. Robert De Niro, Irish. <laughs> no, it's Richie uh, Sambora, Irish. Al Pacino. Be quiet now, Richie, and play your ukulele. <laughs> Boy, that sounded like real Gaelic that Richie was saying. <laughs> Would you be bending over for the old captain? <laughs> You're right. Wow. Yeah, it's really wow. good. Listen, we're out of time. You want oh, a coconut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to smash a coconut with me? I'd like to smash my new coconut. Thing. Can we just put, say one more thing about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, wait. All right. All right. I have to push it. It's called Merry Point. Christmas, and the proceeds go to the Larry Firefighters Foundation, oh, okay. which is uh, to help firefighters all over the country and buy a Christmas tree. So please buy the book. All right. Uh, you want to smash a coconut? Let's yeah. Yeah, yeah, safety, yeah, safety goggles there. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, no, we're going to... I think we should smash one each. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you want a you rain jacket? Uh, this, yeah. <laughs> Ready? No, I'm not ready. Well, no. Yeah. Well, right. Right. Where do I go? Uh, just smash it on there. Okay. All right, you ready? All right. Oh, well, we'll have a race. Oh, I thought right. you were going to use hammers or something. What? Oh, really? 
really? Would you like me to get you a sundress? <laughs> Yes. Alright, well, after three, it's a race between Scotland and Ireland to see who wins what the What do you do, just bang it on the board? You never smashed the coconut! I never smashed the coconut! I'm the hell's wrong with you? Get out your kids too early! <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna smash this coconut lens. Take the... Take, oh, see, I, 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 I'm, I'm ahead of you now. How, how hard do you have to hit? Roll again! Okay. okay, alright, ready? Three, two, one... Nice. What's the cover? Shit!